Hey Sugang, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sue and I cook for my husband every day. So today I'll be making my husband restaurant style grilled octopus and it's not that hard to make and I'm sure after this video you'll be able to make it by yourself. I served mine with some onion rings and it was actually the first time to make these onion rings and they came out so superb. So let's get right into the video. I am going to start this off by showing you how to prep your octopus. When you buy an octopus, it should be whole. Depending on why you buy your octopus, it might come cleaned or not clean. Mine was clean, so that was a plus for me, and I was so excited when they asked me if I want it clean. I'll quickly show you the parts of the octopus. This is a whole octopus. I have with me two of them. Up here are the eyes, then the beak is here, and then the head, and finally the tentacles, which are very delicious. Because mine is already clean, all I'll do is rinse it with water and start the cooking process. My octopus was already tenderized, all I'll have to do is just boil water and dip it inside. So you will bring salted water to a boil in a pot, dip in the octopus in about 3 times to curl the tentacles just like I am doing, then reduce it to a simmer, then let it cool until it's pork tender. This is what I will use for the octopus marinade, 3 to 4 garlic cloves, I added 2 more, smash it, it will peel right off. How do you peel your garlic cloves? Tell me down on the comments. Then chop your whole bunch of coriander or parsley, however you want to call them. Then lemon zest. I refrain from lemon juice because it melts the seafood rubbery and it cooks it. Add everything back to the bowl, then add the extra virgin oil. Add the oil generously and of course I added salt and some pepper, then mix everything together. Now let's go back and check on the octopus. I believe it's ready. Finally, nice and tender. The fork was right in easily. Make sure yours is the same. I cut the octopus before grilling. I cut it into two, then cut the tentacles. This is how my husband likes his. There are a lot of different ways in which you serve this and I'm sure you can find different recipes that are served differently. So back here, I'm putting the tentacles in the marinade, adding the egg in as well. The head cuts like calamari, like the body of the squid, so I recommend cooking it too. Now pop it into a grill, heat it as high as possible, you can use a jiko or just fry it on a pan, or you can even use your oven. Rot now, let's make the crispy onion ring. Kicking things off, I'm going to start by cutting the onions. You can use the onions of your choice. Then I'm going to divide them into rings, just as I am doing. You're going to get large ones, medium ones, or even small ones, but actually, that's the beauty of onion rings. Rotate every 2 or 3 minutes and just keep on going until it's all charred. Next step, we'll be making our butter. In a bowl, pour in the flour, then the cornstarch, some cayenne, it's absolutely optional, of course some salt, and the normal pepper. 
I grab my whisk and mix everything together. Now add in a cup of cold sparkling water, a little by little. If you don't have sparkling water, you can just grab a club soda or milk or just regular water until you get a nice smooth butter. The consistency should look like this. I drop in one of my onion rings, then use my tongue to remove it, then transfer it to a bowl that has the breadcrumbs. Move it once it's all covered with breadcrumbs and put it on a plate. Do that to all of them and finally fry them until they turn golden brown. Once they became golden brown, I removed them and placed them on a bowl to cool. And there I was done with this super easy, delicious and crispy onion ring. I returned the octopus to the marinade. Again, be flexible with this meal. Have fun and most importantly, enjoy. My husband enjoyed this so much, give it a try and tell me how you was came out. For more easy and amazing recipes, kindly click the subscribe button. Until next time, bye! We shall try again tomorrow.